Crash Course Live is presented by Smash It Demolition Derby, who host Bash for Cash, Blizzard Bash, and Capital City Carnage. Online at smashitderby.com. And Stirring Dirt Racing, host of May Mania's team show at the Golden Spike Arena in Ogden, Utah. Online at stirringdirtracing.com. Reckless Abandoned Derby Apparel and Derby Inc. Magazine. This is the Crash Course Demolition Derby Podcast, recorded live at the FingerLakes1.com studios in downtown Seneca Falls, New York. And now your host, Chris Marquardt. Good afternoon, good evening, welcome to another episode of the Crash Course, episode number 199. On deck, we're be catching up with Bob Dixon here in a little while. First, before that, we're going to be talking to uh, Johnny Gullo about the upcoming Season finale for Stern Dirt Racing uh, out there at the new Salt Lake City Park Complex, that awesome new double-stacked Coliseum of an arena. We haven't been there yet, but from all uh, the discussion that we've heard, oh, it's awesome. uh, I'm, I'm excited about going out there. You've Actually, you've had a chance to go there, right? Yeah. You went there. Yeah, Utah State Fair. I was there. Um, they had, like, well, it was over, well, over 6,000 people, and the place looked empty. So, you know, that just give you an idea how big it actually is. I mean, it's it, it was a it was a it was an eye opener. It was a wow, holy cow, look at how big this place is. Right. And it, it was it's awesome. I mean it's awesome facility it all like, the way around. Was it like the Kansas Expo Center with no roof on it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean there's 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 platforms for two big jumbotrons on each end of the stadium. Mm. I mean it's 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 big time. It's 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 definitely uh top-notch facility in, 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 through and through um we'll be out there we'll be getting into town on friday afternoon and then we will be catching up with everybody for the derby on saturday it's going to be aired on uh, derbynation.tv you can find all the pay-per-view links there you can also find the links in the uh in the threads underneath the crash course show link we'll be sharing that around all week long we'll be getting into more of that with johnny here momentarily um focusing local first um, before before we get too far ahead, uh, I think I'm, I'm going to go on record and say that they made the right decision uh, at the Paradise Speedway, and, and I know you can you can argue back and forth all you want about how they said it was going to be rain or shine. They weren't planning on that kind of rain when they were talking about rain or shine. I don't think, and to uh, to, to to make the call to to nix it is going to make for a better show. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, 100%. all the way around. Yep. Um, for anybody who was arguing. Uh, about whether or not the money was guaranteed, that money was never ever in question. That money was there; it was going to be paid out. You yeah. are you're silly to even suggest that as being one of the reasons why. Ultimately, last year they had a bunch of rain. The mud was pushing through the transmission openings, and it was going to be a garbage show. And 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 you don't want to tear up a racetrack. At the end of the day, you can have a derby one time, or you can have a, make the right decision to have a derby multiple times. Mm-hmm. And and ultimately, I think with uh, uh, with Belfast happening. Um, and the number of cars that were at uh, San Filippo Smash, mm-hmm. let's say something crazy happened to some of those guys and their cars weren't hurt, they've now got the opportunity to come back and run at the Allison's mm-hmm. show for some really good money. Oh, yeah. And I, I just I don't think it's fair that those guys were getting roughed up in, in some private circles for, for calling the show off. It was the right decision, no. and, and, and I don't think anybody's going to argue with that. Hey, you know what? There's a lot of local guys that wanted to run that, that were going to run that show that actually were, oh, boy, thank you very much, because they had little stuff that it's they— two more weeks of work. Yeah, it's two more work? weeks, <laughs> and they were stressing the, the night before trying to get stuff done and uh, trying to rush to get stuff done. Now they got a little bit extra time to do it. In uh, 100% agree. 100%, we and talked before the show, Chris. I mean, it's 100% agree. I mean, it, and it gives guys now gives guys even a, a, another chance to run their cars right. because there's cars at Belfast that were not hurt that will that intended on coming to that show and they'll still come to the show. There's cars now, like you said, from from San Filippo that got some dingers in it. They can straighten it out and and they can come. And, Fix the plates. And, and run for money, you know, right. and, and have a good time. So um, it works good for everybody, everybody all the way around. I, I think so. And, and I just don't think that it was a – it was a – hey, let me put you in. We got Johnny Gullo on the line while I was trying to finish my thought there. Um, at People the just the day, jump in conclu- it, conclusions it, fast. Yes, so. they, exactly. Yep. They, they jump to conclusions way too yep. fast on that, and and they were wrong. I mean, it was it was a wrong assumption, and I I feel bad for the guys that were already there 
because there were cars that had already gotten through tech. I feel bad for those guys because they were there under the premise of rain or shine, but you were going to have a garbage show. Nobody was going to come out for it. Um, mm-hmm. It was going to be miserable running on. That's a true clay track. And when you get running <laughs> on the slop in the wet like that, it's going to turn into a mud pit. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have, you're not going to have any fun. Let it sit two weeks. See if the weather clears, get past super dirt week. Cause that super dirt week always draws rain. Get, oh, yeah. past, yeah, <laughs> get past yeah, Super yeah. Dirt Week and and go have another go have another awesome show. Yep. Um, all the guys have the opportunity to run one more time um, here in town. Unfortunately, I don't think any of them are going to be towing to Utah. No, no, we're gonna. Why? No. Why? No. It's beautiful. No, <laughs> it's snow in the mountains. And 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 you guys are still water skiing on the lake. I take. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> you live a heck of a life, Johnny Gullo. <laughs> Alright guys, how y'all doing? We're doing good. good. Excited. F- planes are leaving on Friday and we're gonna be out there in time to uh to make some bad decisions, make sure we have headaches for Saturday and then do a derby. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we'll have bad decisions after the derby on Saturday night with some pig and beer. All right. That's uh that sounds good. The uh the facility uh Ben was describing was six thousand people that still looked empty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me, we have six thousand. I'm like, no, you don't. Says, yeah, we do. And I'm like, holy crap! <laughs> yeah. So I, I I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that perhaps tickets are still available with uh with all the seats. That, yeah, that you yeah definitely you can get them through smithticks.com um, in any of their locations, and they will be available at the gate. Obviously, uh, it'll take us a show or three to get that stadium full because it's a new location for us and everyone else and we got to figure out how to market salt lake city because it is a a large market versus uh, ogden or heber and the other small towns that we typically go to Mm -hmm. um so how are registration sounding at this point Uh, we've got we've got four good we're about 40 cars awesome um 12, 13 trucks, they're registered, passenger cars, we're at six, and I don't know where they're coming from, but we're at 20 mini cars. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the bus. And the bus. What's the and story the with the bus? The bus is awesome, dude. It's not coming. They, they wiped it. What kills me is we showed the video, and I got so many comments. That I'd be so pissed off if that bus came into my heat. I'm like, do you not realize this is a staged? Right, right. The kids, <laughs> right. you know, and there's so many people that thought that's just a real thing that we were doing, and I'm like, really? Do you think anyone <laughs> in the right mind would do that? <laughs> yeah. The guy driving the bus is cool. He's like, he's like a loose cannon dude. You get to ride in the bus. There's passengers in the bus. How, how do you get that? Yeah, they got cameras. They're they're yeah. gonna work on it over the winter. We're gonna bring it back from A Mania, and uh, they're gonna try and get some flame cannons and water cannons coming out of it. <laughs> Basically, what it is is, uh, hey, I need a I need a filler heat to give the guys time to fix their cars. Yeah. Here's three grand. What do you got for me? And that's what they came up with. I'm like, all right. That's crazy. Oh, it's awesome. They had to crowd. They had to crowd into it. I mean, the crowd really got into it, and 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 uh, it, well, it just, was. Uh, uh, General Dent was never staged, right? General Dent was a legit enforcer, correct? Yeah. 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 This this was this was the enforcer of all enforcers when I saw the video at <laughs> yeah. first. And then, then you started watching what was going on. And yeah. Said, well, yeah. That's still pretty cool. Yeah, it was. It was, it was cool. <laughs> I was willing to go full WWE. This is dumb as hell. And I'm like, it ain't for you. It's for the kids and the crowd because our crowd is different than what your guys' crowd is. We keep having that discussion and – uh, our crowd's looking for entertainment. Right, I agree with that. I was willing to go full WWE on it when I saw the when I saw the video. I, I'm, I'm suspending beliefs. Like, yeah, that's actually happening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it, was, it was it was cool. It was definitely cool. That was, but there's, but we're not going to see that though. It uh, at havoc. No, they he he totaled all the cars at the last show. He got two runs out of all the cars. We did it at uh, the the truck show. The beat down was the first one we did it at. Then right. we did it. Uh, at the state fair and uh then we're gonna modify it and fix it up and get a bunch of cars there for may mania send it out there with the big cars <laughs> yeah <laughs> mini cars. no they were mini cars no no no. i'm saying send it out there with the big cars oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's got a lot of time to get lost. that that bus was cool looking with yeah. the it was it was a 57 chevy on the back I, right uh, something like 
like that. And, and the guy hand painted it with spray paint. And it's actually a pretty good paint job. Yeah. 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 Real good. Yep. I figured it was the same guy that had done all of Derek Shelley's work. Oh, oh no! <laughs> and they are a bunch of guys that are true Confederates from Alabama, and I have to fight with them. You can't fly the flag. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not good. It's uh. And they're cool about it. So was, yeah, that's good. That's that's good. Um, the guys from but no, are, are the guys from Kentucky going to make the trip back out? The Passmores. Not for this show, but they said they're definitely coming back next year. If not for May Manny, they definitely want to come back and uh, bring six, seven guys out for uh, here. Nice. Awesome. That's nice. Awesome. Those guys, they, they had some it hard does. luck this year, towing all that way and having to rebuild a transmission in the pits that doesn't go into Derby in truck. In his yeah, truck. In the not, truck. In the truck. Not in the car, in his truck. <laughs> Man. Tow home. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a tall order. Um, what are, are we going to see any new twists or anything? Have you got any surprises up your sleeve that you want to tell us about now for, for I, Havoc? I can't, I can't say anything about Havoc. You know, that's... I don't know. It was worth asking. No, everything, everything's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> ben just rolled his eyes. But really, we're, really <laughs> our concentration is uh, not being with the fair. Our concentration is really... Uh, Getting everybody to know that we're at the new facility, you know, state of the art. Ben can speak to it. it it's just awesome. Um, the getting that crowd built up because May Mania is going to be huge. <laughs> yeah, May Mania is going but to be one of the can't misses next year. You're going to have the to numbers are, are right, and we'll find out in November for sure. We're going to pull. Uh, I think Ben can agree. I think the way. Heber flowed with being the two days the way we did it. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to try and pull off at May Mania. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, with that's a, with a Friday and a Saturday and no cars hitting stages. Yeah, it was easy. It was good for the drivers. They had plenty of time to fix stuff. There was it was, it was and fixed up right. You know, it wasn't uh, thirty minutes and you're you got to go. Yeah, yeah, it was. It's definitely it's definitely easier all the way around for for all different for 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 officials tax and and verse and drivers you know drivers equal i mean it, it's it, it flowed gave gave extra time and it wasn't just bang 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 and 100 percent agree that's 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 <laughs> it's going to be an awesome show mm -hmm. i was saying that when we, utah state fair right to johnny and, and gumby i'm like man may mania is going to be insane in this place yep it just the, the amount of room and the amount and it's just it's, is the track is the track physically larger in in square area uh, than what we had at the Golden Spike? Oh, absolutely. Is it uh, the arena we had was roughly the same size as our finished arena at Golden Spike, but what we have twenty feet to the I think we said fifteen or twenty feet to the walls. The actual yeah bleachers. Yep. Wow. So 15, got, 20 feet, and then there was still room on the ends. There's room to go wider. Yeah, we, we, shifted, we shifted it to the south or the, the west. I don't know which direction am I going. No, the south, because um, it allowed us to to bring in the Jumbotron and mm -hmm. uh, stage tow trucks a lot easier. I think the, the cleanup flowed a lot easier. But, yeah, yeah. We're, we were learning a lot, you know. Yeah, there was depending on how big the show was going to be. We had to learn a lot on logistics and the way the layout was. And we asked a lot. I, you know, I sent an email out to the drivers after the state fair and said, "All right, what did you like as a driver? What didn't you like? What did you need? You know, lights, water, positioning. We we're just trying to get input to to make the facility more friendly for the drivers. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's 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 a it's a friendly facility all the way around. I mean, Gumby yeah, already. Whew. I mean, it's yeah. just, it's just, it's off. It's just, you'll see, <laughs> you'll see. I mean, it's you can't. Words don't explain it, you know. Yeah, Dalton's drone footage does it no justice. <laughs> no, no, nope. Do uh, you actually physically standing there and walk in, actually walk underneath the stands and walk into the arena and look around you? It's like, wow. <laughs> Well, we should be feeding roughly 400 people. Uh, so we're excited of that. We love the year-end show. And uh, mm -hmm. we'll, on top of this, we'll probably get a couple more registered this week. And then we always get uh, 
10 to 20 show up the day of and uh, we should be a full boat like always and and you know what it's like they, they don't want to look at this stuff all winter no no <laughs> they're gonna definitely drive to get rid of it <laughs> here we go there's a look at it and that does it no justice uh, and that does it nothing huh no justice at all i can't wait <laughs> well that shows you how short the yeah how short it is that's how much i mean it, that's that's 30 or 40 feet from the from there to the end probably roughly we're gonna be there saturday for halloween havoc seven o'clock start time mountain so that's going to be nine o'clock out here so everybody set your watches accordingly mm -hmm. and so we've got the light class and the the medium class which by the time we define what those are we'll know when we get out there so either bring the torches if you got to cut and bring the welder if you got to add metal to fit one of those molds Right. And they're going to have heats and grudges that feed into a feature for them. And then we're going to have the heavy and the outlaw, which will likewise have heats and features that will feed into a feature for them. There's a total of $30,000 on the line, right? And, and we spread that money out. Everyone asks what the prize money is going to be. And it's, it's really, take the trucks, for example. Okay, here's the truck heat. There's three grand. What do you guys want to do? Don't care. You want to take home a couple hundred bucks and leave 500 for Mad Dog? Great. You don't want to do a three grand for first place. We don't care. It's mm -hmm. your money to use as you want. We're we're going to try and get everybody to to vote on something so everybody gets to take home something. Mm -hmm. Plus, they get a full belly and a little drink and a little fun on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, with that, uh, with that being said, you're also not going to get a situation where unless you volunteer to, there won't be a light car or a medium car going against one of the heavy cars. So it, it, no, it is pretty not unless they pretty really bad. choose to. But that is not our desire, our goal. Um, everyone's calling, well, I want to cut before I get there. No, don't cut anything. Just show up. Right. Let's see what else is showing up first, and then we'll make a decision. We keep a pretty good track record of what's coming through the gate. It's pretty much your tech on the trailer because all we're looking for is safety and classification. And, and Ben's going to be there to talk anybody um, out, of, out of going light to heavy. The only ones that really stick to somewhat of the rules are the individual classes. So mini cars are mini cars. You know, there is no heavy mini car or light mini car. It's to try and stick to that rule. However, if you need to add, if the plating rule calls for eight plates and you need nine, 10, or 11 to make just to straighten the frame out to, so you can get one more run out of it, do mm -hmm. it. It's not going to throw you in a different class just because you're trying to make it. Now, if you had kickers and, you know, angle iron and everything else, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that might put you into a different class. But um, we want you to have fun and get a good heat out of it, if not two. Mm -hmm. And sit back and relax and just have a good time. Relax. Yeah. The, the mini cars and the trucks, are those both sort of in the same vein of what we saw a couple other times this year where they were self-policing essentially where they had set their own rules and set their own terms and they're going to do their own tech process we have we, we've got the front wheel drive cars and the mini cars and we're going to kind of look at those i know there's some heavier you know those pacer type cars right. might be showing up mm -hmm. so they may go into the heat with the front wheel drive class just because they're a bigger car to deal with anyways right um so we'll, we'll just kind of gauge it as we go and uh There'll be room, and everybody will be set up the way they need to be set up. It's very fluid, and everybody's going to run in a class where they're going to be safe at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> um, you said the tickets are still available. What's the ticket pricing on that one? Uh, the, you know, the really nice thing about this stadium is they're starting at $15. Nice. Very affordable to go to a great facility. You can buy the, the lower bowl, I believe, is $25, and that puts you right next to the arena. Um, just like the Golden Spike is, and then oh, yeah. there's the middle yeah. section that I believe is $18, mm -hmm. and the $15. When I say nosebleeds, Ben, there's really not nosebleeds. It's, no. It, it, there's nothing. There's not a bad seat in the house, really. I mean, it, no. it, it, there's no. not a bad seat. That even the t the, if you sat in the top row all the way around, it, it, it's like Johnny says, it's not a nosebleed seat at all. I mean, it's you can see perfectly fine. You're not like you're 50 miles away. Right. There, there literally, literally is not a bad seat in the house. And there's no chance up there of an El Camino landing on your lap. But, but do dress warm. It will be a bit chilly. should be uh, 50 degrees is a high for the day, so it's dropped down to the you know, 40s by the time the show's over. So dress warm, bring some 
gloves and hand warmers and that kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. We'll buy those at the Walmart the nearby. Make sure you're selling hot chocolate and coffee because you're going to sell more of that than soda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Beer, yeah. but soda. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that's awesome. I'm I'm excited to get back out there. I mean, oh yeah. The, so I think that's it's a new stretch of mountains. We haven't seen that yet, right? Uh, no, you, well, you've flown into Salt Lake and we're literally like 10 minutes. You're, you're really yeah. like 10 minutes from the, from the arena. It's, yeah. it's going to make it close. Uh, the, the hotels are crazy close. Um, it's going to be a good new home for Stern Dirt. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to allow a lot of the people from a logistics standpoint, a cost standpoint, really good. And we're really pressing the arena to do even more awesome. for the drivers and mm-hmm. cutting hotel deals and, um, you know, it's state fair. Everybody got free food. Um, they got good food. Thing, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> there's if you, that, I said they got good food. If you can't if you can't find a barbecue that you like out there, then you, <laughs> you must be under a rock because I can't. You know, it, they got like like national award winning barbecue places like there, and it, it's just. And What's, I'm pretty finicky on what I eat. And what's, it's like, uh, yeah, no pork. No, no pork. pork. <laughs> so, I mean, but I went, Gumby took me to a joint that had, the, it was like the one nine national championships and barbecue. And huh. it, it was, it, it, like I said, you're not going to go hungry going out there. How about Rocky Mountain Oyster? Right. Did you try them? No. No. <laughs> no. And, uh, but, we can get you some if you want some. No, no, I can no. call the boys from Montana. I'm sure they'll bring some down for you. Stop. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> Can I hear? <laughs> uh, no, definite pass. So we're excited that they get this one under our belt. Then we're going to hit uh, the rules really hard for May Mania. Our goal for May Mania is to November 1st to open up registration to last year's driver. November 7th, open it up to everyone else. Mm -hmm. By moving it to a second day, we hope to add a few more teams to the mix, so we should have a couple spots open. I know a lot of people have been asking about that also. Nice. Um, At this point, are there still hoodies left over for drivers who would want to register at that $100 mark to get the extra pit passes and the extra dinner passes? Yes. uh, Dinner passes are running tight. Uh, Hoodies, we've got about 75 left, and I know we'll sell out of those. Yeah. Definitely the day of. <laughs> yeah. Size wise, um, that's what you're probably running into an issue of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but still, uh, act fast. Oh, you can buy them online. We are donating ten dollars out of every hoodie sale to uh, Red Cross for the disaster relief, and um, I can't remember. I think it's thirty dollars out of every registration on the hundred dollar side goes to the disaster relief also. And and also we yeah. typically do the cancer fundraiser because this is right. breast cancer awareness, but with all the tragedies we've had in Texas and Florida and Puerto Rico and stuff, mm-hmm. we thought it right to move that over to the Red Cross. And the, the wildfires too, the wildfires were bad. Oh, yeah. And those, yeah. Got, those got overlooked a lot. Mm-hmm. Yep. It was bad, bad, <laughs> bad stuff. Real bad. Um, yeah, and then, then you got to deal with freaking Vegas. Oh, yeah. Happened in Vegas today. Yeah, it's just yeah. horrible. You know, it's where you stop giving. Yeah. Yep. Seems like it's every t- time you turn around, there's somewhere else to that needs help. Yeah, I can't even get my head around that. You, you just... No, there's a lot of people. Concert. There's a lot of people are going to be scratching their head over that one for a while. But it's yeah. just sad. The scary part to think about is what copycat's going to come now. Mm-hmm. Are they going to go bigger? Keep, keep oh, it we in. don't need to talk about that on nope, the show. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Let's keep We're our talking. mind out of that and We're let's talking. have some fun and <laughs> crash some cars. and 100%. Get ready for cars. Christmas. Crash cars, eat some food, have some fun, hang out with some good people. and We're going to be on four different planes coming home. Oh, we are. shit. I think it's four. I think it's four or five. I can't remember how many. I seen our itinerary, but I didn't read it. Yeah, don't read it. Okay. Just don't. Just, okay. Just <laughs> have faith. Blind okay. faith. I, I think Ben wants me to book his flights. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to fly everybody to the same place, and and I messed that one up. Well, it worked out. It worked out great. Is what what it ultimately happened. Is it worked out great? Got everybody everybody's schedule aligned and everything worked out fine. It's just it was it was a little messy coming up. On the plus side, we aren't nearly as expensive for the rental vehicle this time as we were out there for Heber City. 
Well, well actually, so, I was going to talk to you. There, so, you know, we can talk offline on that. I don't right. think you need to rent one. You're so close to the arena, and the, yeah. and the hotel has you can take a shuttle um, shuttle you, you, from the airport to the hotel, and the oh, hotel yeah? to the yeah. airport. So you can see the you can see the hotel from the airport. Okay, you can take and they offer shuttles, and yeah. then f it's literally ten minutes from the hotel to the arena. All right, so I should we'll have, that. We'll have enough cars there. So yeah, okay. I mean, I would definitely talk to them after off air uh, after the show about okay. it. Okay, right. that's I'll I'll call you when we get done here. Okay. Because I just but, booked it. I'll have to go um, get <laughs> You can watch on Crash Course if you're not coming. We'd love you all to come out. If you can, and join us. It says good time, good food, good people. It's going to be a fun one. And there's some going to be some cars getting jumped. Guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of junk. Yeah. How close, is, how close is the ambulance dispatch center to the arena? You ain't got to worry about it. No. People, uh, people don't get University hurt about Utah is 10 minutes away. So Perfect. We can, we can ship as many people <laughs> up as we can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. We say that in jest. Hopefully, everybody's saying no. That. Yeah, that's it. Dem will make Dalton tonight because he's got to work that night with, uh, and he's a bouncer at the bar that's about five minutes away. And says, "Oh, we'll just take the whole bar or the whole derby guy, and just we'll just go invade his bar." Yeah, that's what he's saying at Utah State Ferry. He says, "Yeah, you guys got to come over. I got to work that night. Come on over." I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, we started off the conversation hinting at the bad decision, so, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so why not? <laughs> hey, oh, awesome. Well, it's my birthday Saturday, so. Is it? Yeah. Happy so birthday. Bad things are going to happen. What are you going to be now, 38, 39? Bad or, things are going to happen. What do you want, Dan? I will bring you a bottle four, of whatever you 40, want. 45. I'll be 45. <laughs> 45 years young. I'll bring some moonshine and a bottle. Mm -hmm. Oof. What do you need? Mm -hmm. No. No. Uh. <laughs> 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 we're gonna it's gonna be a good time we're gonna have fun so that's it's i'm looking forward to the drivers first thing they sign up we don't want the pig we want the moonshine i'm like oh jesus <laughs> bottle of moonshine and pork chop make ben just for, just happy as anything <laughs> <laughs> gumby just turned it turned it off <laughs> <laughs> So keep in mind. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll be seeing you here soon. So um, I guess then the plan then Friday well, is just to go to. When you're done with the show, and we'll make sure we got your itinerary and everything set up. But uh, yeah. tune in to Crash Course Saturday. We're gonna have a lot of fun. You get to see firsthand the new stadium and show it around. We got some new camera angles and stuff that we're working on mm -hmm. uh, and coordinate with Jumbotron. So we're kind of really excited about that. And uh, and really, we got a way we can. Uh, we can pack light for this one. We only have to bring the camera to face us and the pigtail to take the SDI line. I believe so. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, this, yeah. Thing's, this thing's high end enough. We don't have to worry about much. Dude, it's like a rock concert in a stadium. I'm loving the, it. The sound system is like a, it's, you do like you're at a concert. It's, All right. It's, it's awesome. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. Johnny, I appreciate you coming on, and we'll see you Friday. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you Friday. We'll see Bye. you later. See you. There goes Johnny Gullo once again. Just to remind everybody one more time, the – where'd it go? I lost it. You lost it. Yep, that was back. There you go. Uh, last event of the year, Force Turned Dirt Racing online for details, and you can buy uh, – find links to order tickets right on there, uh, sterndirtracing.com. October the 7th, Halloween Havoc, Roman Chabrung and the Pit Party, $30,000 in prize money. It's a uh, driver pig roast afterwards. Um, you're not going to want to miss it. Four classes, light, medium, heavy, and outlaw. Light, medium classes go together into a combined name main. The heavy and outlaw classes go into a combined name main. Light cars won't go against the big cars. The heavy, or excuse me, light cars won't go against the heavier outlaw cars unless you desperately beg to get that your way. Trucks are on the schedule. We've also got mini cars on the schedule, 20 of them. That's the most we've seen out there. And they're all going to be going at one time. And that's going to be, that is probably going to be the most hazardous heat of the night because they're so small. They don't take up a lot of room and they can get going so fast so quick. Oh, they get it. They get they they're, they I mean it, Utah State Fair they had a, a heat of the of the mini cars, and uh, those guys were getting it done. I mean they they <laughs> they made junk fast, and they weren't they weren't they weren't scared because they were in a smaller car for sure. They were <laughs> they 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 were out there hitting just as fast if not faster than the big cars, and and they had a great time. Tickets to Crash Course New Year's Eve are on sale as well. I'm getting more pictures uh, in the next couple of days of our raffle car a 1976 four-door Cadillac, and it is 
beautiful mm -hmm. and it's going to be it's going to be a roller it's going to be yeah. a clean slate you can do whatever you want with it and uh tickets are on sale there's ticket breaks if you read the details on the link on shop.smashedempire.com you can jump on there and find out more uh, i'm not going to spill all the beans here go uh, go find your discounts right. where they might be right. go check it out moving on upcoming events on uh saturday back if you're out in ohio and got nothing to do and you want to watch on your cell phone while you're at another derby Smash It has their cleanup show on Saturday the 7th. $10,000 purse for that one at the Fayette County Fairgrounds. That's Washington Courthouse. Full-size cleanup class, compact cleanup class, full-size street stock class, compact street stock class, compact trucks, mild weld, mod cars. Tons of, of, of opportunity to go run something in the state of Ohio on oh. that day. I um, want to send a big thank you out on behalf of Smash It Demolition Derby to so all the drivers, partners, and supporters who make 2017 a huge success. And I look forward to working with them again in 2018 online Smash It Derby. Dot com. We had over the weekend as well 226 cars turn out for the Battle of the Border 3. Yep, I've seen um, that. Uh, I think uh, Alan McNeil went and ran in Belfast, I want to say. I, now I can't remember, but we had, we had nasty dogs running in a couple different places this weekend. We had 252 at San Filippo and 226 at Battle of the Border. <laughs> How's that for third outs, right? <laughs> yeah. Clean up show seems to be where it's at. <laughs> that's that's pretty, pretty awesome. Coming up a little bit later on in the month of October, on the 21st, we're going to be back down in the Shenandoah Valley with Jason and Penny Scheip in the Thomasbrook Volunteer Fire Department. This show is always a home run for the 2017 Cast in the Valley show, Shenandoah County Fairgrounds, Woodstock, Virginia. This class is now open to Imperials and Hearses. The card includes the compacts, the stocks, the wealth class, trucks and vans. Imperials and Hearses thrown into the mix with the kicker cars. It's basically basically bash for cash builds. It's going to be awesome down there. Compacts are going for five grand. If they got the turnout, they'll pump up more money. It's oh, going to be. It's not going to be a slouch show there either. The problem there is, and I'm telling everybody now, so you hear it, you can put it in the back of your mind and remember it. We're not live streaming it right now. I'm telling you, we're not live streaming it. If we go down there and some stroke miracle happens and we've got good enough <laughs> signal worth trying, then maybe. But right now. No, it's not going to be live streamed. It worked out doing what we did with the local record for wheel days and uploading it here, just coming to Finger Lakes mm -hmm. 1 and loading it. So I think that's what we're going to do with Cast in the Valley as our initial plan. I also found out I'm announcing that night, so I'm going to be up in the crow's nest over the top of the grandstand, so we're mm -hmm. going to have a great vantage point for it. So mm -hmm. I, would, I would prefer to make sure that everything's going to work. So um, nonetheless, if you have a chance to get down there, there's a lot of New York cars that are going to be down there. Um, Dan that Bolton, are going to get educated. Dan Bolton's going down there. They're going to get an education. Mo Pardano. Mo Pardano is going to, going to find out what the Blue, Mountain, Blue Ridge Mountains are all about. <laughs> they're, going <to> find out. <laughs> they're going to get an education on the build. <laughs> uh, Blizzard Bash coming up right around the corner, too. We're less than, less than 40 days away from that one, 8th to 12th of November at the Kansas Expo Center in Topeka, Kansas. Thursday, November the 9th at 4 o'clock, it's the National Qualifying Team Round 1. Friday the 10th at 9 o'clock is the RC Derby. There's a couple different classes there. There's still team spots open. National and Qualifying Team Round 2. Um, at 6 o'clock on the 10th. The double program, the double header, is Saturday the 11th. 10 o'clock, compact, limited well, team round one. 6 o'clock, power wheels, all the team remains, trucks, youth, bone stock, etc. Lined up for that one. Sunday, November the 12th is championship day, national qualifying, limited well, and compact team, A mains on the menu there. And then looking far, far, far into the future, February the 10th, the Florida Southern National Showdown, two-man team derby, 20 teams from all over the nation are coming. That's going to be at the Hernando County Fairgrounds, 6436 Broad Street in Brooksville, Florida. Tickets and event info are online at hernandofairgrounds.com. Brian, Ben, and Josh are going to be going down to that one to handle the live stream because, as it turns out, we're going to be going back to Winter Slam as well to do all the announcing work. There's not going to be any camera element there, so I'm going to be on the microphone there, and we have service so you can text me when you get in a jam. Remember, I'm an hour behind you guys, so, <laughs> so don't rush it. Uh, all the events are going to be one and done at Napa Winter Slam, full-size class, no wagons, 35 car max, 2,000 to win, 1,350 for second, and they're paying back through 10th. 80 chain class, 35 car max, 1,000 to win, 750 for second, paying back through 10th. Light build trucks, 35 max, 1,000 to win, compact, 108. 108 inches and under, 35 cars max, 1,000 to win there. Both those classes paying back through 10th place. Each class has a heavy hitter, which is 300 bucks in a trophy. Best paint gets $100 in a plaque. Longest tow gets $100 in a 
Second place, or second longest toke at 75. Best Western Mankato has rooms available for 99 for a double and 109 for poolside, 507-65-9333. Contact Randy Maslowski at 507-327-1944 or Jeremy Irwin at 507-525-4290 for details. It's February the 10th, St. Peter, Minnesota, the same day. So you got your you got your choice. You can either go to... I'm not going to Minnesota. Minnesota, or you can go to sunny Florida. That's no, I'm choice. not going to Minnesota. You're not going to do it? You're no. You're not going to take the dive? No. I can, I can be a weather forecaster now, basically, with the hardware I have in my hand. So I'll, t- I'll take a warm climate versus a cold one. <coughs> yeah? You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. I agree. But it'll be another – both shows, I mean, both shows are going to be excellent shows. I mean, They're Minnesota awesome. is going to be another sweet. great show. Moving to that other facility yeah, is definitely okay. a good, good, okay. good move. And uh, – Renato County Fairgrounds, I mean, that place is huge. You've been there. It's huge. They, they can easily handle a, a large, large capacity show, and, and uh, it'll be and, it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. And St. Peter's got good signal. We just don't want to – there's no reason With all the don't. floods, I mean, there might be pythons up there too. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, that's be. another good reason to be in Minnesota. Nope. Because I would rather be where the air hurts my face than where the snakes can eat my I body. I know guys that have guns down there, so that's I'm set. <laughs> 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 good reasoning. Good yep. evening. Yep. <laughs> Show's going fast tonight. Man, Bob Dixon joining us on the line. Came away with a, a, a pretty meaningful win at the San Filippo Cup. He's got a, got a set of championship door wraps coming to him and a, and a roof sign in the wake of picking up two wins on the, on the same night with that, that crown Vic that has given you, given you a little bit, of, uh, little bit of trouble through the course of the summer and some redemption found now coming away with that, that, that San Filippo Cup, which raised – um, they're flirting with their goal of $25,000 awesome. for, uh, awesome. for San Filippo MST3 research. Bob, man, how's it feel? Oh, man, Chris, it felt great. <laughs> it felt great to come home with the win. It's been a while. That, uh, it's got to mean a lot for you, too. Um, you're out there, and, and one of uh, one of Jeff's Imperials was on the track with you at the same time. Oh, you know, Chris, I didn't even know that I was in Imperials until you just said <laughs> something, but... Uh, yeah, if I'd have known that, I may have done it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were some of your impressions? I mean, when was the last time you competed in an event with 250-plus entries? Oh, it's been a lot of years, Chris. The last time I ran with that many cars was probably up in Brookfield back in, like, 2000. Jeez, I'm not even sure. They probably had 200-plus yeah. cars. We didn't even get on the track off our heat until after 11 o'clock at night. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was kind of cool the way that the, everything was broken down. Is There was a bunch of, they're basically a bunch of one-off heats. There was no qualifiers. Everything got ran down to the last car. So we had a bunch of light-built four-cylinders and, and light-built six-cylinders with a little bit heavier-built six-cylinders a little later on in the night and the mid-sized cars. And then we had economy V8s and we had light welds and then we had limited welds. So there was, there was this, this gamut of cars and everybody walked walked away as a champion of, of a particular heat, but there was no prize money. It was all donated prizes or prizes mm-hmm. that they had secured in, in, in one, one trade fashion or another. So you got all these prizes. There wasn't necessarily prize money. And when you have 250 cars out there, you know, regardless of, of what type of entry it was, they, they were all out there because they wanted to be there. It wasn't, it wasn't about the money this time. They were there because they wanted to be there. And, and, and trying to shove 250 cars through – in an afternoon, <laughs> that's that's a challenging task. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> <It's> a challenging task. <laughs> yep. But uh, well, definitely, Chris. Uh, Eleven hours derby that day. I know my legs were hurting by the end of the night. <laughs> um, it had to kind of play out with one of those dream scenarios with that San Filippo Cup because when you're out there with your car, which was one of the one of one of the heavier cars that was on the grounds that day. Um, there were some guys that were pulling out there with, with four cylinder luminous that were fairly, fairly soft. Um, were you just salivating at a chance of blowing through the back of one of those? Uh, honestly, I didn't even think about it because of their safety. I was kind of afraid I might get in a little too deep and hurt one of them guys. Sure. That's probably the right answer. Kind of actually. stayed away from four cylinder as much as I could. Plus, uh, between Mark McCarty and uh, Holden Smith, I kind of had my hands full. Yeah. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. Uh, uh, Mark McCarty had a great run, and and Logan Gregory's motor was just unreal to listen to. 
Uh-huh. And that thing sounded so good. We got it. We got a chance to listen to him run at Wheel Days, and and then he was just on that limiter the whole time. It, it reminded me of a Kenny Rosno run. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, I mean, Bob, Big Bob's motor, that diver motor, Big Bob's got. That that's that's right in the same same level, same level. I mean, it, it, it's it's that diver he had is he let it scream. He opened it up. I mean, he he's not afraid to, not afraid to. Hit the skinny puddle at all. And, Bob and, went by me at one time trying to chase. I don't even remember who he was trying to chase down. But when he well, went him by. And Ryan, him and Ryan were going yes, at it. Yeah, that was. When yeah. him and Ryan were going at it in the heat, I mean, it was like, this is awesome. This is, was, this is worth, this is worth the, <laughs> the wait to watch. You know, that's what you want to see. You want to see them cars built like that, run like that. He and, went by and, me and it made my ears itch. Yep. I mean, it was, you yep. couldn't, nothing, it didn't even sound like anything. It was just this, this, this buzzing noise in your ears mm-hmm. it was so loud when it went through and it was doing a wheel stand on the way by mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. just slammed the front end and that fight you had with ryan was awesome you lumped up on ryan ostrander then you took home one of his coolers that was kind of cool <laughs> oh yeah i can't thank ryan enough for donating that i've been eating one of those and it kind of uh, saved me the money you've been needing one of those with everything yeah that you... i've been running an ice cooler in the last three or four years and I wanted to upgrade to a fan cooler mm-hmm. and now I got one. Yeah. That worked out all right. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Showman. Oh. Jeff Showman sold out of everything he had. He said he's got enough orders now after he sold out on site that he's backed up. Dude, he he's, told me he told me he went through already since the beginning of the year he's went through twelve thousand feet of inch and a half tube for headers. <laughs> twelve thousand feet. That's over two miles. <laughs> That's a lot. So he's like, he goes, you know what? He goes, it's great to, to you know, he goes, it's, I'm finally to a point where it, it's, when people are showing up and, and it's, it's a legitimate type business, really. He right. goes, it's, 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 um, he said life changed, itself. Yeah. life changed dramatically when he came to the States. Yeah. Yep. Sh- shipping was less and it was And more he says it was cool to come to an event in New York State and walk down through and say, Oh yeah, that's my header. I made that header. I made that header. I made right. that header. So it's you know it, it's awesome when you get to that point for sure. And and Bob's motor was a diver. Yeah, which you alluded to gave one of those away. Did you hear that thing get touched off? Yeah, but I think I think everybody <laughs> in the area was was hoping that the person that won it didn't win it. Yeah. Because now Greeny is is totally <laughs> deadly. Because now he has now he has a, a, a what is it the purple purple master or whatever he called it the the grape ape I don't grape know. ape yeah the grape <laughs> ape so he, he, it's it's uh, now there's going to be multiple there's multiple divers mm-hmm. that are going to be running wide open yes. so loosening fillings at oh, yeah. before yeah. they even before they even make a hit yeah. and there were some guys that got rocks I mean Mad Dog awards were were being fought for. Mm-hmm. Literally, mm-hmm. I mean the, the the course of the night was fantastic. Let you know a little bit on some of the winners: Taylor Gully and Megan Wood going one and two over Katie Garcia in the Queens Clash. Uh, Dylan Archer coming away with a win in Heat Two. Um, Nate Cutting got Mad Dog uh, in Heat Three and also won it, and, mm-hmm. and he was serving some hits. In oh that yeah, heat. Uh, Dylan uh, in Heat Two. Dylan got Mad Dog in that one as well. Brandon Jones. Mad Dog and first place in heat number four and heat number five. That was the extreme class. Um, Lee and Marty Seeger came away with winning that one. All those big iron cars, Lumina ended up winning it. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool to watch. Oh, yeah. A Seeger that's, Lumina. That was, that was, they, they, <laughs> they, know, said, that's... they said they were going to build what they knew, uh-huh. and they built what they knew. Yep. They, they, there's no, no one's going to no fight with that one. Um, Nate Dean coming away with Mad Dog in heat number six. Kyle Hunter got the win in that one. Uh, Lyle Walworth. Ended up winning Heat 7 and got Mad Dog honors in that. Bob Dixon, gentleman with us on the phone right now, uh, winning Heat number 8. Mad Dog went to Ryan Ostrander. Dylan Kilpatrick won Heat number 9. I lost Heat 10. There's Heat 10. It's on the other envelope. Chad Winnie uh, taking the uh, win in Heat number 10. In Heat 11, Andrew Cummings came with a win in that one. That was like the light trucks and stuff. Mm-hmm. Chris Murray with that minivan. Coming out of uh, New England, <laughs> earned Mad Dog in that, and he was sending haymakers in that. Uh, it was Travis Seward winning over Ryan Enders and also taking Mad Dog honors in Heat 12. Heat 13, Mike Holbert got the win in that one. Um, in Heat 13, Heat 13B was the heat that had a bunch of cars that we don't know where they came from. <laughs> I don't know. So heat, Car 16 won that. Congratulations. I don't know who you are. Heat 14, Chris Morrow won that one and took Mad Dog. Anthony Curtis 
finally getting the monkey off yep. his back. Got a win in the big truck division over Sean McLean and uh, the 5760. That was the uh, Van Wormer driver. Got mm-hmm. the Mad Dog in that and the Cup. Bob Dixon won that one. And uh, I went over Holden Smith. Holden Smith, we've got to take a minute to mention him. Holden Smith, on uh, one of the first hits of his heat, broke the steering off at the box, pulled the steering wheel and the steering shaft out, threw it out the front window, over the wall, right in front of the stage, and then drove the rest of the heat. Mm-hmm. Like he had steering. It was one of the, it was one of the best shows that I've ever seen. Uh, but for, uh, for a single driver to just do that and just throw caution in the wind, because it's not even like he could take a pair of vice, gr- vice grips and clamp onto the rest of the shaft no. and steer. It was all brake and pedal. And there's nothing, I mean, this got to throw you off so much. Just, there's not even a steering wheel there to hang on to. There's no shaft, there's nothing. It's just, it's got to throw off your 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 rhythm, you know. Your your mental state's got to be thrown out the window well, for this that. This just tells shows you his his he at a young age he's he he's very experienced experienced driving and uh, to have the calm and being calm and cool and and just and just sh- steer with the gas and brake. I found it. That was heat ten. I'm pretty sure that was heat ten. Pretty sure. Not only did he get second place, he got mad dog that heat mm-hmm. with no steering. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> yep. Bob, you ever had to drive with no steering wheel in front of you? Uh, no. no, I've drove without steering many times, but I've always had the steering wheel. <laughs> did you lose steering in the main event? Uh, no, my car was uh, able to turn. I, I mean, it wouldn't steer very good, but it was turning. Yep. Was it because something had begun to bend? Uh, no, I think I had... Uh, not, I'm not 100% sure, that it, it just had a hard time steering ever since I put it together. Extreme class, I missed the mad dog. Extreme class, where'd it go? Oh, the two-man two extreme guys. class? I got it now. Um, Duncan Cram Yeah. Chris Murray. So Chris Murray walked out of there with two mad dog awards. Mm-hmm. And that's right, they did just fine for themselves. They did excellent because they lost steering. They they lost steering. The front end went haywire on them. Um, haywire early on. Yeah, <laughs> it went to the carburetor. Yeah, it, it was. Jesus, he was. <clears throat> he was going two different ways at once. It's fine. It's fine. Didn't what? seem to bother him any. No, that's right. No, no I'm glad he was listening to weigh in on that. I think we caught everybody in terms of the results. I can't get rid of this stuff. I need to take pictures on it and then send all the files back to Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, when you're trying to keep track of that many heats and that many cars and and everything else, Ooh. it's it's. It, it was a it was an overwhelming day. For, I think if he, overwhelming day for anybody that's trying to keep track of that stuff. And it's, I don't think anybody was planning on that. I mean, Bob, realistically, going into Saturday, how many cars were you expecting to be there? I mean, they they, they done a pretty I good job. I was probably expecting around 150, maybe 170. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had because of the year before, I just figured it would follow up about the same. Building off last year's numbers, my guess was 225, and I was way wrong. Oh, I was figuring just two hundred myself. Yeah. I was I was figuring around two, uh, just for the same reasons Bob would just said. I mean, to build off last year, but it, it was just, it was amazing the the support and the amount of people that came out. It, it's just great. Um, it didn't matter if you started at five o'clock in the morning to tech cars. It, it, it's it's you, you're gonna get through them when you get through them, and you know you kind of some you still got to look at them. You still got to. You still got to segregate them in the in the in the equal areas, and so people aren't getting hurt. And um, you know, so it, it it just takes time. And all in all, it, it was it it was a late night, but it was a good show. So well, the red flags didn't help. I mean, that's a that's a not in that a, in too that, much, but it, it looks like everybody's going to make full recovery. Yeah, and 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 that's you know that's the first thing you do is 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 you. You think that you're banking on people using their head and use common sense, and and it just and you want to you want to put have a good surface, um, you know. Long story short, you know, just a little bit of water and it, it took care of the whole situation. So, which put a lot of people at ease after after it got watered and and slowed the pace and made it slick and and um, you know, Jeremy Jeremy took it by the horns and and. Put a solution in there, and, and there you go. End of story. Tying this to nothing. Tying this to nothing. A word of advice. 
is to any drivers pulling out onto the track after you go past the tech official that's standing at the edge of the track that's doing the safety check, making sure that you're wearing a seatbelt, make sure you keep it on. Well, <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it, I can't say nothing because I'm guilty. I, 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 was, I'll, I used to always take mine off. But you're talking, you know, you're talking running in subframe and box counter imperials in, in heats with normal cars. Right. So, I mean, it's like taking Soft a... landing. Taking a... a you know, a submarine to a to a boat show. You know, it, it's it, it, it's just no comparison. But um, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, it, the, the seatbelts are there. This. I mean, it, it's it's not saying you're a Sally if you if you wear your seatbelt because I'm here to tell you right now, anybody running derbies, anyway, most guys now are running shoulder harnesses, and 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 the guys that do are loving it because mm -hmm. the, the you, you're not as sore and, and you and you, you're more confined you're more constricted and, and you're held in place and it, it, it's just kind of use your heads blizzard bash they run five point harnesses yeah and it's still I, not enough i mean it's kind of it's kind of <laughs> kind of contradict contradicting you tell somebody to use your head but you're out there smashing cars for fun but <laughs> you know it's 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 all about safety, and nobody wants to see anybody get hurt. Jeremy, for sure. I mean, he was about ready to puke on stage mm. because you know he doesn't want to see anybody get hurt, and he wants to, everybody's got to work the next day. Yep. And uh, and uh, I'm glad to hear everybody's everybody's gonna everybody's doing good. So with due time, yeah. Yeah, Bob, what do you do for seatbelts? Do you run shoulder harnesses too? Um, well, I run a five point race harness, but yeah. Uh, just to keep myself down in the seat nice and tight. Brian McClung couldn't come. He had something come up, and Ron, Ron had told me, and I forget what it was, so Jeff Showman climbed into that car. <laughs> yeah. Jeff ended up coming out in one of the PT Cruisers that one of the Gully Kids had drove. Mm -hmm. He was on the track like three or four times, I yep. think. And, and during that two-man extreme show, he ended up whacking the steering wheel right off the bottom of his nose and, mm -hmm. and, and didn't lose any teeth, thankfully, but it, it looked bad. And I was talking with Ron because I, I initially thought that Brian was going to be riding with him, and it turned out that he wasn't going to be there. And Ron, Ron told me that, that Brian basically can't can't bend over and touch his toes before a derby, but afterwards, seatbelt or not, he can't because he gets bounced around inside the car so hard. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you know we joked about drivers in Utah coming out of the car taller than than when they got in them, and then we saw that that one guy, and I'm blanking on his name, and, and forgive me for it, uh, that he was kept in his car. And not wrapped around his stacks because of the steering wheel catching him. Yeah, the guy in the diplomat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was that was scary. That dude's definitely taller today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that was that was he ended up they ended up cutting both the pillars off of that car. To, to pillars and a cage. Oh, they, they had to the cut cage the cage because they needed a sawzall to cut the cage because the jaws of life the wouldn't cut the cage. Wow, well, a good cage. Well, the box tubing. I mean, they're not designed to cut. Yeah. You know, structural steel. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> no, I mean, be, be glad they're they're not up to speed like out west, and it's it. Then they wouldn't even be able to cut it, even begin to touch it. So, no. <laughs> uh, I was talking. I thought about you the other day. I was talking to somebody who um, runs a dip tank. Mm -hmm. I got thinking about you and, and some of the creative ideas you told me about off the air. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. There's one in the works right now. Oh boy. <laughs> so. Bob, are you gonna you gonna run again before the end of the year? Are you gonna try and make the trip down to uh, Chaos in the Valley, or thinking about making the trip over to um, Paradise Speedway here in two weeks on the fourteenth? Um, well, I was uh, looking at the rules of Paradise Speedway today. Uh, not a hundred percent sure if I have a bad uh, set of rules or not. Being I'm on the set of stickers with my trans brakes and lip weight. <laughs> well, I mean, there's 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 bash for cash smash it class cars that are run that run there so that's you're not too far off yeah from that. See, i'm not real sure with that area i was actually going to strip this car out but now that i'm seeing that that derby's still going on i'm kind of interested mm -hmm. right just to try and finish the car up before i strip all the parts out of it for the new one mm -hmm. has that car even remotely begun to move uh, the back end of it rolled in real nice and tightened up. Front end, uh, from what I looked at, it didn't really look like it budged much other than the bumper starting to twist inside now. Mm -hmm. 
You keep saying that you want to use that car up or finish it off, but if it hasn't moved yet after 13 runs, I don't think it's going to move. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to go for that strategy when I was filling up for the fair, but it didn't work for me. <laughs> yeah. Nonetheless, though, it was, uh, it's, a, it's a masterpiece build, and, and I'm sure that you've learned something from this one that you're going to make the next one even harder. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a bigger car, Chris. Uh, I'm kind of back to me, and I said, and I feel like I'm in a little go-kart. <laughs> you're gonna go back to, probably going to go back to a Buick, ain't you, Bob? Yeah, yeah, I just picked up a 76 Buick Limited. I think uh, I'll put some time into that next year. Yep. Oh, boy. That'll be a fun one. Oh yeah, <laughs> Bob's done, Bob's had some real nice Buicks. <laughs> He's, he had a, he had a, he had one Buick that was pretty nasty. Is that a tow package car? Uh, it's gonna be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good answer. <laughs> yeah, good answer. Awesome. Well, Bob, man, uh, we had talked and, and I'm blanking on what uh, what had come in the conversation. Are you the the Cast in the Valley show was on the radar? Are you looking to go down there and watch that? Um, uh, depends on who goes down the run. Uh, Chad Winnie had mentioned maybe making a trip down there to run, and if he goes down, then yeah, we're probably going to make a trip down the launch. Yeah, definitely. Well, awesome. I look forward to it. I hope to, hope to see you down there. All right, Chris. Uh, well, if we're down there, then you know Chad's running. If not, uh, have a good time, and we'll catch up with you soon. All right, perfect. Before I let you go, though, is there anybody that you want to make mention of? We talked about the motor, but there's more than just a power plant in that car. Anybody you want to make mention of to help get that car to the track? Oh, definitely. I'd like to uh, thank Rod and Sue uh, up where I build my cars. If it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't even be carrying it anymore. Um, I'd like to thank Brock Drake for always having my back and helping me out uh, with my build. And then, uh, obviously, I want to thank Jason for the awesome power plant in my car. And then uh, just my family for supporting me throughout the years. If it wasn't for them, I would not know I'd be. <laughs> Bob, congratulations again on winning the cup. It's uh, well deserved. Thank you. Uh, we'll catch up with you guys later. We'll see you later. All right, congrats, Bob. Good job. Thanks, Beth. Have a good one. Yep. There goes Bob Dixon, winner of the San Filippo Cup. And uh, he did have his hands full. Those orange cards were all he, over him. He always, I mean, and Bob's, 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 Bob's like many other big, big drivers down there, the good drivers down there, they always got a bullseye on them. His wins that he has never come easy, um, <laughs> along with with the other guys, along with Winnie and, and Greeny and and uh, and uh, was Zaccardi and, and, and Logan and all them guys. I mean, all them guys that that, that drive hard down there. That when they, they win Zaccardi something or they something. get down to the end, it's it's. It's not because it was a bag fest. Gloves are off. The, the gloves are off. The <laughs> throttles are pinned, and you know people are getting knocked out of their seats. And um, saw plenty of that. Yeah, plenty of evidence of that. How about Mike Oliver? Mike Oliver in that in that shocker, and in, in he he was in the heat with that diplomat. The guy got hurt. He went out there, and like the first four shots were just wide open, three quarters track, forward, backwards, typical Mike Oliver derby, and. Uh, that was a black car with gold lettering, right? Black and yellow, yeah, I yellow. think it was. No, the black with gold lettering was Rearman. Oh, right, right, right yeah, yeah. That's... And he, he's, he, he did good. I mean, he's, he just, he has some hard, he has some tough, tough luck, tough brakes. But... Slow down, and yeah. I bet the weird stuff won't break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I, I like I said, I got to give all them guys down there. You know, you, you, you like to talk about them all and mention them all because of the way they drive and they always drive hard. And uh, it, it, you know, it's you try to you you try to talk about them all the time because it, you know you don't want to make yep. them you don't want them to think they get got left out and and you know they're not they're you know they're all they're all right up here in my eyes there's, they're all up up yeah there's nobody that should level. feel like they were left out no maybe. these these uh, guys they all drove hard and put a show on and and they all built some nasty cars <laughs> there was some stuff that was inside out I don't yeah. and I don't even remember what heat it was there was one car that had the rear wheels stuffed up to the front seat underneath it mm -hmm. and it was still moving and then he took a shot that flattened everything out it was like a fender and doors and then mm -hmm. what used to be the back of the car squeezed into about two feet mm -hmm. he, had, he had to get out of the car i mean it was mm -hmm. it was it was a bomb waiting to go off at that point you know but man just would not say die oh no the, the, even a compact guys the wall-to-wall -wall guy that was driving Kyle the wall-to-wall 
Well, Kyle Hunter's the one that comes to oh, mind. Oh, he was he was junking stuff in in his heat. Dean, Dean's another one. Dean, no, over, Dean. Dean don't he, he's like that southern tier, the the southern like more that that area is like Lee Seeger. He don't he'll hit you fifty mile an hour. He don't care. <laughs> and he's just, you know he's there to junk stuff and put a show on and 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 uh, I mean we could go for hours talking about these guys, but it, it's. Like I said, my hat's off to all them guys to come out and support a, a great cause like they did and, and put a show on like they did, and, mm -hmm. and you know, it's awesome. Yep. We will be back next week with episode number 200, if you can believe that, episode number 200 next week. However, I can't promise that it's going to fall on that Monday. <laughs> yeah, because you guys' eyes are going to be still yep. like the yep. golf balls after yours is, coming your, back. Yours from are going to be too because you're flying home with us. Yeah, but I mean, with the arena and oh, stuff, yeah. when you see it out there, it's it's it, you can't. It's it's amazing. I'm sure we'll get a couple Facebook lives in before we're done and show everybody a good look at what they're what they're waiting for. The order links are up there. DerbyNation.tv. Jump online, order it up. We appreciate all the support that we've had on that one. This is that's going to do it for this one for us here from the North Park Building here at Academy Square. We'll see y'all right back here again next week for episode 200. Crash Course Live is presented by Smash It Demolition Derby, who hosts Bash for Cash, Blizzard Bash, and Capital City Carnage online at smashitderby.com. And Stirring Dirt Racing, host of May Mania's team show at the Golden Spike Arena in Ogden, Utah, online at stirringdirtracing.com. Reckless Abandoned Derby Apparel, and Derby Inc. Magazine. This is the Crash Course Demolition Derby Podcast, recorded live at the FigureLinks1.com studios in downtown Seneca Falls, New York. 